Hi people, welcome to 365 days of mindfulness tips and quotes. Day 5. Amplify your thoughts and think about good around you. Don't give importance to the negative thoughts. Quote. Goodness is the only investment that never fails. Henry David Thoreau. Too many people are defeated by the everyday problem of life. They go struggling, perhaps even whining through their days with self resentment at what they consider the bad breaks life has given to them. In a sense, there may be such things as the break in life, but there are also a spirit and method by which we can control and even determine those breaks. It is a pity that people should let themselves be defeated by the problems, chaos and difficulties of human existence and it is also a quite unnecessary. Solution By learning to cast the obstacle from your mind by refusing to become mentally subservient to them. By ch channeling spiritual power through your thoughts, you can raise above obstacles which ordinarily might defeat you. You need to be defeated only if you are willing to be. William James, often called the father of psychology in the late 1800s, said the greatest discovery of man's generation is that human beings can alter their lives by altering the attitude of mind. As you think, so shall you be. So flush out all of your old, tired, worn out thoughts. Fill your mind with fresh, new creative thoughts of faith, love and goodness. By this process, you can actually remake your life. You can think your way to failure or you can think your way to success. The world is which you leave is not primarily determined by outward condition and circumstances, but by thoughts that habitually occupy your mind. To change your circumstances, first start thinking differently. Do not passively accept unsatisfactory circumstances. But form a picture in your mind of circumstances as they should be. Hold the picture in your mind. Develop it firmly in all details. Believe in it. Pray about it. Work at it. And you can be actualize it according to that mental image emphasized in your positive thing. If you think negative things, you will get negative results. If you think in positive terms, you will achieve positive results. The secret of better and more successful life is to cast out those old, dead hell, unhealthy thoughts. Stuff skewed for them, new vital dynamics thoughts. You can depend upon it and an inflow of new thoughts will remake you your, your life. Believe in yourself. It is appealing to really realize the number of pathetic people who are hampered and made miserable by malady popularly called the inferiority complex. Believe in yourself. Have faith in your abilities without a humble but reasonable confidence in your own power. Hey, you cannot be successful or happy. The sense of inferiority and inadequacy in
could not be overcome provided you have enough faith and guts and were willing to do the work so whenever you come across an obstacle first thing to do is stand out up to it not complain don't whine up about it outright attack it don't crawl up to it already half defeated and half ash stand up to your obstacles and do something about them you will find that once you get started that don't have anywhere near the amount of strength you imagine they had have be care of all of the little negative that creep into your life an effective method for making your subconscious positive in character is to eliminate certain expressions that may be classified as little nav little negativities these little negativities clutter up to the average person's mind and spill out in their conversation while each one is seemingly unimportant in itself the total effect of these attitudes is to condition the nine negativity you will be shocked how many of these you can let slip into your mind and speech i am afraid i will be late i wonder if i have a flat tire i don't think i can do that i will never get through this project there is just so much to do this is just what i expected i know i wouldn't be able to get this right while these seem so small and meaningless remember that mighty oaks grow from small acorns if you allow these acorns to be planted in your mind <clears throat> and you will allow them to grow soon enough they may no longer be little negativities but massive oaks before you know it the little negativities that you allow to slip in to your speech will find the way into your mind and soon enough be a big negativities make a conscious effort to root out all of these little negativities from your mind and your speech don't allow them the opportunity to grow expect the worst you will get the worst but if you expect the best you will get the best william james say our belief at the beginning of doubtful undertaking is the one thing that ensures the successful outcome of your venture to learn to believe is of primary importance it is a basic factor of succeeding in any undertaking when you expect the best you realize you release a magnetic force in your mind which by a law of attraction tend to bring the best to you not not sure if you are self talk is positive or negative Some common forms of negative self-talk include filtering. You magnify the negative aspect of a situation and filter out all of the positive ones. For example, you have a great day at work. You completed your task ahead of time and were com- were complimented for doing a speedy and thorough job. That evening, that evening, you focus only on your plan to do even more tasks and forget about the compliments you received. personalizing when something bad occurs you automatic blame yourself for example you, you hear that an evening out with friend is cancelled and you assume that the change in plan is because no one wants to be around you catastrophizing you automatically anticipate the worst the drive through coffee shop gets you order wrong and you automatically think that the rest of your day will be a disaster polarizing you see things only as either good or bad there is no middle ground you feel that you have to be perfect or you are total failure focusing on positive thinking you can learn to turn negative thinking into positive thinking the process is simple but it does take time and practice you are creating a new habit after all here are all some ways to think and behave in most pos- positive and optimistic way identify areas to change if you want to become more optimistic and engage in more positive thinking first identify areas of your life that you also usually think negative about whether it's a work your daily commute or a relationship you can start small by focusing on one area to approach in more positive ways check yourself periodically during the day stop and evaluate what you are thinking if you find that your thoughts are mainly negative try to find a way to put a positive spin on them be open to humor give yourself permission to smile or laugh especially during difficulty time seek humor in every happenings when you when you can laugh at life you feel less stressed 
follow a healthy lifestyle aim to ex exercise for about 30 minutes on most days of the week you can also break it up into 10 chunks of time during the day exercise can positively affect mood and reduce stresses follow a healthy diet to fuel your mind and body and learn technique to manage stresses surround yourself with positive people make sure those in your area are positive supportive people you can depend on to give helpful advice and feedback negative people may increase your stress level and make you doubt your ability to manage stress in a healthy way Pos practice positive self doubt start by following one simple rule don't say anything to yourself that you don't won't say to anyone else be gentle and encouraging with yourself if your negative thoughts enters your mind you evaluate it rationally and respond with affirmation of what is good about you think about things you are thankful for in your life that's it thank you stay healthy be positive bye